Welcome to some new r slash petty revenge stories where people share stories of small victories over those that wronged them. I hope you had a great day. The first story is called Unicorn Apartment. Back in the mid 90s I was a single guy in my late 20s. I was a man child I admit. I was working but just enough to pay rent and go drinking every night. I have since gotten married and kids in our house yada yada. Anyway, there were these two ladies my age at the bar where I was a regular that just had their roommate move out abruptly. I was looking to move to something cheaper and this place was a unicorn. $350 a month for a free bedroom place, close to everything. It wasn't the greatest place but far from horrible. That's $350 divided three ways. Plus the heat and electricity were paid for by the doctor's office below us. I was paying that alone plus utilities, so heck yeah, I moved in. So day one and the ladies have me sign the lease. I knew it was kinda BS right away as they had a copy of the lease with the old roommate's name right it out and had me sign it. I was never to contact the landlord myself. Sus? Sure, whatever. Here's $200 for the deposit and first month's rent. The ladies were a bit quirky. They were lazy. Sure they were fun and all but they seemed to think that they owned me. They'd ask me where I have been, who I was dating, why I didn't get in until 6am. I worked swing shift. Lots of little things like being on AOL Instant Messenger all night and day, tying up the phone lines, leaving garbage and other crap in the common areas, dirty dishes etc. I actually didn't really care except they would have the nerve to scold me for leaving out my shoes or coat or whatever in the midst of the mess. I made a point of never leaving my stuff out but occasionally I would and they would mention it. Plus a cousin of the one roommate stayed there 2-5 to five times a week which again was annoying but whatever. Rent was cheap and I barely saw them. The best part would be in passive aggressive notes like hey please don't leave your shoes out by the couch I almost tripped on them this morning. There was clutter everywhere and they would be complaining about my shoes. They'd have freaks worth of dishes everywhere and my shoes were the problem. Ok whatever, I could write a book about the crazy but let's move on. It got really bad when I met the person that became my wife. They were a bit jealous and tried regularly to break us up. She called one morning, the ring woke me up. The ladies answered the phone saying that I never came home last night after meeting some girl at the bar. I called her later and she told me this laughing the whole time. She knew it was BS since she dropped me off for the night shift the night before. There were a lot of similar stories like this but on to the main story. The lease was up in a month and they decided to get another apartment and I would have to move out. I asked if I could take over the rent and they said that the landlord already leased it to someone else. Ok, sure. So I finally called the landlord myself. She tells me that she only knew I was living there because she got my checks every month. I made them out to cash and the roommates were too lazy to cash the check beforehand. She said that no, she had not leased out the apartment and hadn't gotten any notice from the ladies that they were moving out yet. But the one cousin that stayed over often was wanting to sign. It was obvious to me that the landlord did not like these women and I asked if I could have first. Furthermore they were trying to steal the lease from under me and give it to the cousin. I asked and received a letter from her giving me the first dibs on the apartment. A couple of days later I come home from my shift and there is an open mail on the table to me from the landlord with the first dibs letter sitting there. They open my mail. Along with a bit of free page note about how could I do this to them, why did I contact the landlord, I am a horrible person etc. I laughed and read it to my future wife. She laughed along with me. The next few weeks were cold, one word answers to questions, no mention of the note or moving out. They did give notice and I promptly signed a real lease with only my name on it and paid 3 months up front just because I could. A few weeks later I came home to fried 3 bags of garbage and 2 empty bedrooms. They were gone. I had a free bedroom apartment to myself for $350 a month. All the after hour parties we had. I lived there 2 more years, one as a married man with a kid on the way. We sadly had to get a better place and I had to give up my unicorn apartment but I'll never forget screwing them over before they could do it to me. The next story is called Rude Birthday Girl. At the time of this story I was about 9 years old. I had an across the street neighbor that was around my age. We lived in military housing and the parents regularly made the kids get together to keep friends because we moved around so much. Anyway, I was invited to a Barbie sleepover birthday party with two other girls. I am mixed race and the other girls were right. The day before the party we picked out a skip it to give to the birthday girl. On the day of the party my mom got me packed for the sleepover and sent me across the street. The party itself went great. We had cake, danced to music, birthday girl opened her gifts and loved the one I got her. Then we started to get settled to watch a movie. 
That's when things took a turn. I noticed the other girls laughing at me and whispering to each other. Then the birthday girl finally said, Actually, your mom said you can stay the night because you are dirty and need to go home to take a bath. These words have stuck with me to this day. I was confused, but I believed her. I was nine and it was her party. So I grabbed my things and walked back to my house. Naturally, my mom questioned me when I got home and I told her what the birthday girl said. My mom was not happy. We walked back over, informed the parents and I took back the birthday present. My mom told me it was mine now. Me, being a savage nine-year-old, played outside with my brand new skippet while the birthday girl watched me from her upstairs window. For clarification, the birthday girl told me I had to go home. Her parents were not in the room. I got my things and went back to my house. Her parents didn't even know I had left. The last story is called Shoplifter Surprise. My friend works as loss prevention at a chain department store. One day he spots a woman sitting about $300 worth of jewelry. Before he can get down there and confront her, she left the store. However, she left her car keys at the counter. So he takes them and goes to the parking lot, finds the car it belongs to, no one inside yet and locks the door. Then he just waits, assuming they will figure they left their key in the store and come to try to retrieve them, but no one ever shows up. At this point he assumes they got a ride. So he calls a tow truck company to tow their vehicle, at the owner's expense of course, and gets it towed to an out of state. And with that, we end today's video. Let me know what you think about the stories. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the stories in today's video? I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And I hope you have a great day. Stay safe. Bye bye.